Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video and today I'm going to be talking about the foods that I rely quite a lot on when my goal is to lose fat. Because consuming lower calories is not easy for most people anyway, but you can make it a hell of a lot more manageable by making some simple swaps by choosing foods that are higher in volume, meaning you can eat quite a big portion for uh, quite a few calories. And as a result, it just means you are consuming what feels like the same amount of food or even more food for less calories. And when I figured this out, it just meant that getting very lean, whether it was for a holiday or my bodybuilding show, I'm not gonna say it made it easy, but it definitely made it a lot less hard. So yeah, let's get into the video. I wanna show you some of my top food swaps that just make dieting so much easier. And if you are on a fat loss journey yourself, then this could genuinely be the most useful video you ever watch. Okay, so the first food that I wanna talk about is pasta. And although pasta is a great addition to your diet, it is not the most calorie friendly. For example, 75 grams of pasta, which is an average size portion, contains about 286 calories. And as you can see, for 286 calories, you really don't get that much food. So instead of having 75 grams, what I like to do is cook a slightly smaller portion. So this is 50 grams, this is 75 grams. You'd probably know there was a bit of a difference, but really not by that much. Then I will use the extra 95 calories that I saved from reducing the portion size of the pasta to bulk up the meal with some non-starchy veg so peppers mushrooms and onions and boom so there we go both of these portions have 286 calories but due to the slight reduction in the carb source and the increase in the veg this portion here is a much, much bigger meal. So that is what I do with pasta. And the next food that I wanna speak about is rice because this is another really, really common one. And just like pasta, it is quite calorie dense, but that does not mean you shouldn't include it. And instead, you can do the simple swap that I'm about to show you. So here I have 125 grams of cooked rice. That is a pretty standard portion. Typically, the microwave rice that you get in packets, that is 250 grams, so it's just like half of that. And yeah, it contains 208 calories and honestly for 208 calories that is tiny so a simple tweak that you can make is instead of having 125 grams of cooked rice reduce the portion size to 80 grams which again you can see there's a difference but it's not huge and with the 70 calories you save by reducing the portion add in 70 calories worth of cauliflower rice and as most of you probably know you can buy cauliflower rice made and you just need to heat it up or if you want you can make your own by just grinding up some cauliflower that is what i did here and as you can see if you do grind it yourself it does take on a bit more of a mash consistency consistency but nevertheless the difference in portion is actually insane same calories huge portion and i know that cauliflower it isn't the tastiest it's quite bland but if you watch my videos regularly you will know that there are plenty of ways to get creative and mix it up for example you could add a lot of seasoning to it you could add some sauce to it some soy sauce is a good addition and uh, you could add lots of veggies like carrots peas corn and make it into a bit of a stir fry pretty much what you do with normal rice to be honest quick one before i get on with the video everyone right now there is currently a 25 percent sale on the j clark fitness nutrition hub this is the cheapest it will ever be because in the next couple of weeks, I am permanently increasing the price just due to demand. And the great thing about the Nutrition Hub is that it's just a one-off fee. You pay once for lifetime access and I continuously update the recipes. There are literally hundreds in there at this stage. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, dessert, you name it. And on top of that, you get access to plenty of other things like my personal calorie and macro calculator. So if you've no real idea or you are just not sure of the number of calories you should be consuming each day to reach your specific goal, uh, the protein, the fats, the carbs, the fiber, this is all calculated for you. So yeah, I will leave the link to the Nutrition Hub in the comment section below. It will be the pinned comment at the top. And if you use the code nutrition 25 at the checkout you will get 25% off okay so pasta done rice done and the next thing that I want to touch on is sauces because this, depending on your sauce choice it can really make the difference between a calorie friendly meal or it can drive the calories right up so for example this very large bowl of mixed leaves only has 27 calories but if I get some ranch dressing and add 30 ml to the top that all of a sudden makes the salad 167 calories so the 30 ml 
of ranch dressing, which is a tiny amount, adds 140 calories to the dish. So let me show you what my six go-to sauces are. Number one is salsa. There is only 10 calories per 30 grams. Number two is French's classic yellow mustard, only 22 cals per 30 grams. Number three is no added sugar and salt ketchup. Per 30 grams, there is only 14 calories. Number four is this puri, a pur puri puri. What the f do you say that? How to say puri puri? Is it puri puri or puri puri? Puri puri. Puri puri. Puri puri. Puri puri. Puri puri. Puri puri. Number four is this puri puri sauce, only four calories per 30 grams. And most hot sauces are calorie friendly, so the likes of your sriracha and your uh, Frank's hot sauce are gonna be in and around the same. Number five is a tomato based pasta sauces, usually way lower in calories than your creamy ones. And per 30 grams of this one, there is 20 calories. And last but not least, a special shout out to Bulk for their zero calorie maple syrup. This is Ridiculous, trust me when I say their maple syrup, that flavor is the best one by far. And per 30 grams, there is one calorie. And if you are picking anything up from bulk, make sure to use the link in my description. Highly recommend that maple syrup. Uh, double chocolate in form whey protein is unbelievable as well. And if I was to give one more recommendation, it would of course be egg whites. Liquid egg whites from bulk are top tier. And before I move on to the more snacky kind of foods, comment below and let me know what your go-to high volume choices are. It could be in terms of sauces, it could be a certain food. What is it that you tend to rely on quite a lot uh, when calories get quite low? I would be very interested to hear this. But let's move on to snacks and these can actually have a very significant impact on your calorie intake for the day and that is because of a couple of reasons. Reason number one is that some snacks are extremely calorie dense. So for example, four Oreos contain over 200 calories. 60 grams of these Haribo Jets these contain over 200 calories and your standard protein bar will contain over 200 calories as well and although these foods are pretty delicious for 200 calories a pop this is just very little and secondly due to the fact these foods are extremely tasty it is so easy to over consume them it's so easy to eat more than what you originally planned because it's just hard to stop so one of my go-to replacements when I'm looking for something a little bit more filling is strawberries so this is 600 grams of strawberries here, which has less than 200 calories. So less than the Oreos, less than the jellies, less than the protein bar, 600 grams of strawberries. And something that I absolutely love doing with any berries is drizzling some bulk zero calorie maple syrup on top. Absolutely delicious. So yeah, berries are a, a great shout, but if you are looking for something a little bit more savory, I've got your back as well. But first, let's look at the calories in some of your traditional savory snacks. And just like your sweet snacks, there are some that can really, really add up in terms of calories. So for example, 35 grams of mixed nuts, although super healthy, contain over 200 calories. 40 grams of Doritos contains about 200 calories. And as you can see, both really small portions, the nuts, more so than the Doritos. So when I'm in the mood for a savory snack, but I want something a little bit more filling, microwave popcorn is one of my main go-tos. So in this huge bowl of microwave popcorn, like believe me, this is absolutely massive. There is also 200 calories and as you can see, that is a significantly bigger portion than the nuts and the Doritos combined. Okay, so the final food swap that I recommend when it comes to snacks is again more on the sweeter side of things and genuinely, I don't know one person who does not love ice cream. If you don't like ice cream, you're a bit of a freak. But the one thing about ice cream is that when you are on lower calories, it can be quite difficult to fit in a decent sized portion. For example, this is what 200 calories worth of Ben and Jerry's looks like. And as you can see, it is depressing. That being said, this flavor is Unbelievable. Comment below and let me know what your favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor is. Ooh. But if you're looking for something that is a little bit more substantial and still has that sweetness, then fat-free yogurt is a great shout. So each of these 160 gram tubs have 90 calories. And as you can see, it is already much bigger, but it actually falls 20 calories short of 200 calories. So I'm gonna sprinkle a few Cocoa Pops on top for that extra crunch. 
So the same amount of calories, but an absolutely huge difference in terms of overall volume. Okay, so the final swap of the video that I wanna show you is more on the protein side of things, and let me show you the difference that this makes. So I'm gonna crack three eggs onto the pan here. I'm making scramble here, so I don't know why I did that and didn't whisk them, but I'll just do it now. Then I am going to plate this scramble up like so. So here we have three eggs scrambled, about 80 calories per egg, so 240 calories in this portion. But something you can do instead is use two eggs instead of three. And with the 80 calories that you save by having one less egg, make that up with egg whites. And that is almost 200 ml of these liquid egg whites from bulk. Give it another little whisk and let's cook it up. And as you can see, very substantial difference in terms of size, but the exact same calories. And before I wrap up the video, everyone, I do wanna let you know that although these high volume food swaps are great, they are not the be all and end all. And not every single thing you, you eat needs to be high in volume. And for example, if you find your current calories absolutely fine, then you probably need to make very little changes in terms of volume. But on the other hand, if you do struggle with hunger on your current calories, then you know making a few of these changes will be very useful. So yeah, that is that. I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Make sure you comment below and let me know if you did, if you found this style of video useful. It's a little bit different to what I usually do. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all keeping well, and I will see you in the next video.